More than 30,000 Comcast Xfinity customers will receive refunds or debt relief as part of a settlement with Minnesota's Attorney Gen Attorneys General. It all stems from a 2018 lawsuit accusing Comcast of overcharging their customers. Reg Chapman has more now on what the settlement means. We view uh, obtaining compliant behavior from industry uh, as our primary goal. For the second time in two weeks, Minnesota's Attorney General announced a settlement with a telecommunications company. Comcast Xfinity is accused of overcharging customers for cable TV packages. Comcast hid the full price that people had to pay. Comcast promised gift cards as a perk for signing up that they never delivered. Comcast charged customers for equipment and services that customers never signed up for. Under the terms of the settlement, Comcast is required to pay $1.14 million in refunds and will send a claim form to all eligible customers. Comcast will also wipe out the debt for about 16,000 customers who were charged an early termination fee after they downgraded or canceled service while in contract. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison said those fees were reported to credit agencies, which messed up some customers' credit and made it harder for them to afford their lives. I think the monetary amount is kind of in, it's kind of a beside the point situation. What really matters to us, I think, and I think I speak for all of us, is that they are being held accountable and they, they have to know that there are consequences when you're dishonest with your consumer. Comcast responded to the settlement with a statement that said, while we disagree with the allegations initially made in the lawsuit, which do not reflect our policies and practices, we agreed to settle because we are committed to partnering with Attorney General Ellison and others who share our commitment to improving the experience of our customers in all respects. Reg Chapman, WCCL, 4 News. The settlement also requires Comcast to change its advertising practices to disclose the full amount customers will be charged for a service. The announcement comes one week after Attorney General Ellison announced a settlement in a lawsuit against CenturyLink.